and welcome to one of this gameplay video of World of Warships Closed Beta. I'm Mr. Blind, here we are playing the Closed Beta once again. Alright, let's get started, shall we? Um, you know what? I'm going to get rid of the Chisler as the first thing that we do. Uh, the Chisler. I like it. It's a fun little ship. But I like the M2 and roll of tanks. Uh, although I do like it, I might have to get rid of it to have space. As you can see, there's no slots left. I could easily buy more. Or what I can do is I can wait for a um because there was a sale in the slots like yesterday or for like a week uh, before yesterday and you could get them for 150 which I probably should have done it then I got slots instead of thinking about getting a premium ship but yeah I don't know do I want the Atlanta or even the Aurora or do let's just show you uh, do I want this or the Albany or the Aurora the Aurora is somewhere around here um I mean do I want the Atlanta or the Albany or the, even the Worst fight, or uh, do I get slots, or do I not spend anything and wait for the full game? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so uh, let's just get rid of the Chisler. It's a good ship, it's a good ship. But I need space. There we go. Alright, so today let's try out the Phoenix. Make sure this look at you. What do we have? Actually, no. Look pretty good for a uh, for a cruiser. This is also pretty good. All right, what we're gonna do? Uh, but before anything, let's just go to battle. Now, um, like all the ships, I like to show off, or like, or like all the ships, um, I mean, like in this series, you may notice I'm doing this as blind as possible, cause I didn't do World Tanks blind. I played it for like a couple months, or I played it for like a yeah, a couple months. Before I got the 360 edition, and the 360 edition I played for like three days before recording it. Uh, the reason being, I didn't think I would like it on the Xbox. Uh, but it turns out I did, and I kind of regret not showing off my first couple of matches and tutorial. But oh well. And World of Warplanes, also I didn't know if I would like it or not, so I played it and then liked it. So I, you know, then I recorded it. Uh, and World of Warships, I wanted to be, I want to do something different. I want to show me... I want to show my first impressions of the game all through it. So I'm not reading anything on the other ships. I might do, I might, I might look up uh, videos of the premium ships to, to see if I would like to do them or not. Um, but yeah, and I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right, we're in, we're in the battery. We're on the, we're on the, and we're on the water, not on the field. That doesn't make no sense. There's no fields here, only islands, which don't have fields. Alright, let's do this. Full speed ahead. Oh, this thing's fast! Or, you know, it's faster than the St. Louis. Oh, the St. Louis has a lot more guns. Like, eight on each, like eight primary guns on each side, or at least eight guns, eight primaries and secondaries on each side. Pretty insane. Alright, we are not going to stick at the middle. We're going to, we're going left. We're going to port. Oh, by the way, I got, I got confirmation that port is that way. Storeboard is that way. This thing is slight performance compared to the... Uh, let's go into our first battleship that we meet. Uh, yeah, let's. This thing is this is a good action maneuver. Well, like I said, the St. Louis does not do that. It does not do this. This is something the St. Louis does not do. And this thing is just dominating. It's pretty insane. There we go. I should mass over stuff and see what they're called. Uh, um, uh, let's go this way. He, he can fire on them. I don't like where I'm at, guys and gals. I don't like it at all. I do not like this. This is not, this is not good. This is not good at all. Where am I? Where's the gunner call at? I have torpedoes? Since when? Why can't I zoom out? There we go. Oh, they're not going this way. Or are they not going this way? Okay, well, anyway. Where's my reticles at? You don't get owned, or uh, I overshot. Nope, I did not. Anyways, Thailand. Uh. Oh, hello. I want to slow down, man. Get some cover. The island between me and them. This is this guy. This guy can suck it. Yeah, 
Can we shoot these guys? Okay. Okay, flip the camera around. Open fire! We can make it. Okay, no. We're not. Okay, uh, um, we gotta get behind this island now. Look at all those torpedoes. You're down, right? Yeah, you're down. Actually, full speed ahead, I got an idea. Let's, let's cut that way. Let's cut this way, because I don't think they're looking over here. Oh, that guy's undamaged, not good for me. But he's not paying attention to where I am. Come on. Okay, we move, uh, slow down the half, and we're gonna go hard to port, I mean, hard to starboard. And we are going to not skip this. What care about my existence? Just good, I like that. That's a good, that's a good ship. Good ship, stay like that. Uh, I'm kind of surprised I am not, I am kind of surprised I didn't really get hit that much. Uh, I think that, I might not try my gun, there we go. I don't know where my guns, I don't know where my sights of my guns are, by the way. I want to fire the, I don't want to fire over that, no well. Okay, about over here. Okay, they don't know I exist, so that's going to be a problem though. So I go down the half. I should go down to a quarter, and what we're going to do is we're going to stop in between these two islands. Oh, we can stop right here. Full stop, full stop. We're all stop. Get them in the water. I'm out of range of him. Alright, well, I think we're good. This, I like this ship. <laughs> it's really fast paced compared to the St. Louis. In the St. Louis, you have to think a couple of moves ahead. With this thing, you go in charge and just live. It's pretty amazing. Uh, wait. Oh, there we go. It was an autopilot for some reason. That's why. Okay, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened there. Um, that valve is a problem. All right, you know what? I think it's time to get moving again. Everybody, uh, full speed ahead to the starboard at like 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Uh, 30, uh, 70s over there. Yeah. Uh, that was, oh no, I shouldn't have moved, I shouldn't have moved, watch out for that shot guys, brace for impact, yeah, oh no, it's a freaking pain in my existence, it's a pain in my existence, that's what it is, destroyers, destroyers, going sideways across my screen, oh no, I hate that thing, I do hate them so, so much, broadside his face, broadside his face, broadside his face, yeah! Well, you guys are not that fast. You, can, you guys can be easily taken out. Ah, those those were ghost shells. Or at least one was. I saw one go right through its structure. Which is what you call the stuff on top of the hull. Okay. Oh, they don't know existing are perfect. Torpedoes? Oh, bombers! I mean, yeah, bombers! Um, um, they're like, uh, this, uh, this one's gonna be hard to, uh, keep, yeah, keep going that way, keep going that way. Uh, keep going to port, keep going to port, keep going to port. Go faster, go faster, go faster, actually. Go faster, go dodge that torpedo! Oh, that was, <laughs> that was, ow. You jerk, you jerk, you know, smoke screen and all that. Oh, we're in a bad place. Uh, yeah, those torpedoes aren't going to affect me. I can't say stuff. Too much smoke. Alright, well, we've got nothing better to shoot at. Well, of course, now the destroyers show up. Of course. You know what? We're holding below the water line. We're flooding quickly. Alright. Oh, reload. Okay, we're going to take on these stores. Ah. Yeah, I just got torpedo to death. Where my team? Where my team go? They got wiped out on the right. They got wiped out on the left side, though. All right, well then. I just yeah, the destroyer friend and battleship friend coming up, but there was just so much, so many torpedoes can dodge them all, even if I wanted to. With this ship, I probably could have done it, but that's just how I. That's just how I am. It. 
in this stage of my world, in my world of ships experience, this is the stage of getting owned by torpedoes right and left. And if there's multiple groups of torpedoes, I probably get owned by them. Um, but yeah, ooh, fighters, get them. Yeah. Uh, that was most unfortunate. Awesome music, by the way. Which actually reminds me, there is a there is a smite thing, there is a small thing I have to say about um, this game compared to the other World of games is you don't have helpful people in this game, or at least you don't have them as much as you do in the other World of games, which makes it a lot like War Thunder. Because in War Thunder, your guy, the guys, the guys who talk, are just there. They're not actually, they don't actually mean much. Uh, same thing with Warships. Even though World Warships does have helpful people every now and again. But they don't have people saying, Ship spotted! Hit, hit! No, stuff like that. Penetration over penetration. You know, they don't, you don't have people saying that in World of Warships. Uh, they do have people saying, uh, when you get staff effects put on you, like, uh, flooding. They will say, oh, flooding! I say, flooding! You know, stuff like that, but they don't actually, um... Uh, you don't actually have people. Like, you probably should have if you're on a ship. Alright, but anyway, so let's try out the Simpson. Actually, let's take a look at the tech tree and see how much I need for this Omaha. I don't know why, but in the DLA, as well as I might say this in one of the, um, in one of the, in one of these gameplay videos, uh, Omaha. I thought it was Iowa for some reason, and I was confused in the, in my, uh, Dishman looks at the Sims, I was confused why it said Iowa when there were no bow, when, uh, no battleships were in the game yet, and I had to check and see what patch we were in. In order to make sure there's no battleships in the game yet. But yeah, that's what that's what I thought. But anyway, that that should be fun. The Omaha. Alright, well let's get started, shall we? That's in time. Nah destroyers and me. Uh I'm not that good with them. Uh destroyers in this game are like scout are like light tanks for me in Wolf Tanks. I can be good with them every now and again, but usually I suck. And that's just all from The Sims. Although, to be fair, uh, The Sims is a tier seven destroyer, so maybe that's it. Maybe maybe they're e maybe if you learn to the tech tree, it'd be easier. Uh, but we shall see. Uh, we shall see how good I am with the destroyers. So I'll probably not go up the destroyer tree as hard as I might go up uh, might go up the cruiser battleship. Or the cruiser carrying in battleship trees. Uh, but we shall see if I can actually use them or not. Because they are a special thing, the destroyers are. Uh, they require they require a different mindset than all the other ships. Because they're fast paced compared to cruisers and battleships which are very slow paced. And you need to think ahead in order to live and not run into something. Or worse, getting yourself in a bad spot. Because... Uh, Cruisers, especially the St. Louis, uh, since it can't really turn and it's slow to, and it is slow to turn, uh, it's very slow, slow to react, so it does, um, yeah, it's kind of terrible. Uh, I mean, it, it, I mean, you have to really think ahead of what you want to do, and last second decisions don't work well with the St. Louis. I still love the St. Louis, it's just, you gotta be really careful with that thing. Alright, but anyway, I'll be right back once we get into the match. Alright, in match, let's do this. Okay, full speed ahead. Hmm. Interesting ship this is. It has a two turrets, and that's it. This thing's fast, though. It maneuvers! My word, it's amazing how much you think, how easy you think can maneuver. Okay, sure, it's rudder controls a little slow, but hey. But once it gets moving, this thing moves. It's much better than the uh, Sims in our respect. The Sims is fast, and it's good, and it has really good acceleration, but this ship can actually turn better than the Sims. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Um. Yes. You shot mountains. You know what? I guess we're in the North Atlantic with this one, since there's snow-capped mountains, islands everywhere. We're in North Pacific or South Pacific. 
That's South Atlantic. Things? I don't see the things. Oh, let's not run into this guy. Let's not break my record of running into stuff. Oh, um, by the way, uh, this reminds me of this Bash Viking. As you can see, there's only half teams here. And when I was playing off camera, the matchmaking did some funny things to the Sims. Um, basically, I got one match where I had this team, I had a team of this size, where the other team was full size. I got a match where it was five Sims versus five Cleveland class uh, cruisers. So it was pretty interesting. Okay, let's see how fast these shields move. Oh my word, the fastest shields I've seen so far. Okay, firing hot, firing, um, firing, uh, HE. At this jerk. Come on, fight small, fight small. Come on, let's torpedo this guy. You think of smart, you think of smart power. Okay, we're gonna take these guys on. Let's surprise this guy. Smoke screen up. You know what? Go this way. And so I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a hard turn to port. Where? I see it. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Oh, you can totally make this. No way. No way yeah, I can't. Come on, Ah, oh, they got us. Come on, turrets. Who do we have here? Oh, who's that? Forget the forget the forget the destroyer for right now. Now where? Okay. Um, actually, let's keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Actually, get back in HE. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Keep moving! Keep moving! Ah, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, she has flooding. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna surprise this jerk. Okay, again, this thing can launch really tight patterns. Yeah, just do it. Pushing back to HE. Where is buddy? Maybe he's gonna move out from under that cover. There you are! Running guns. This thing has slow reloads. Okay, it's the flooding. Okay, now maneuver to port. We're going to go right around the island. Uh, I was like, that, that, uh, that goes to the island? I think it did. It's still alive, somehow magically. Oh, that's. <laughs> if I was in a taller ship, that would have hurt a lot. Haha, <laughs> you guys can't shoot for anything. You got. You suck at aiming, stop trying. Switching to a. I mean, switching to armor piercing. Oh, this guy. Ah, oh, they, oh, they hit me. All right, yeah, I was the last uh, guy over there. You know what? I like the Samson. It's not that bad. I like it a lot, actually. It's a fun little ship. And you can see how much damage I could do with just maneuvering. Yeah, yes, yes, for shooting at me. Yes, yes. I was going to show that the chests are what the ones for my torpedoes, but I died before I could do it. I died before I could do that. Oh well. Well, yeah, this is not a bad ship. I can see myself grinding in it to get the other ships. How much uh, XP do I need? How much uh, experience do I need to get to the next destroyer? I guess we can try the Langley. Those games are always fun, alright, you. Uh, 1900 or 1900 experience. Um, I could do that. Oh, how much, how much, how much stuff do we need to, I mean, how much modules I need to get through is another thing entirely. Probably just one, maybe two. Because because in World Warplanes they changed how modules work, so you didn't need all that many to get through uh, to get through a ship or get to get through a plane. Unlike World of Tanks, where you need like some tanks just have like six modules to get to get through in order to uh, get to the next tank. Um, well, in World Warplanes that was not true. You only need like every plane was like at most three, if that. I mean, actually, now that I think about it, I don't remember a single plane requiring, like, three, ex requiring more than two uh, modules to get through. Although they do have a ton of modules for you to choose from, but you don't have to do that. You can just go right to the next ship, which I like. I like, in, I like that's what I like in the new um, World of Games. Alright, you know what, let's grab this. Now, wait, one sec. What does it do again? Uh, this thing does not apply to the 
proactive carrier, but should help us get more uh, torpedoes. You know what? I like this system better than I do the other, uh, the the other experience. You know, the other systems in World of Tanks and World and World of Warplanes. I love World of Warplanes. I never messed around with it at all. Um, but I think it's the same as World of Tanks, where basically you you get certain upgrades to help your tank, and you could uh, get your crew upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, while your while your commander gets the best upgrades. Well, this game it's more RPG ish and more RPG ish, and I like that instead of just being a, a thing that you do with the tanks. I mean, also I was never a fan of moving people around because that just confuses me. I mean, it doesn't confuse me, but it just you know I just uh... okay maybe it does confuse me. Let's just say that. So I never really, um, I never, I never really, uh, upgraded my commander, I mean, upgraded my commanders in Wolf Tanks. Uh, especially 316. PC, I kind of did a little bit, but not that much. Alright, but anyway, so I'll be right back. Once again, again. Alright, let's do this. He's evaluated the party. I hope so. Alright, well, where are we going to go? Where is my friendly carrier? Do I have a friendly carrier? No, I do not. Uh, let's double check. No, I don't have a friendly carrier. Got I'll just uh, I want to see where I want to see where my uh, guys are going, and then I'll go on that side of the map. All right. Seems like all the destroyers are going over there. And you know what? Let's up on the left side. So. uh all right, crew, let's go over there. All right, now let's get the recon craft out. Get over there. I'm going to help out the left side, or uh, the right side, because, well, uh, not a lot of people are going that way. Everyone's going on the right side, or that's why everyone spawned on the right side, so let's help out the left side. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's know they got a destroyer on the right side. Or in the left side. Uh, I want to say left side because that's where we're responding. I want to say right side because that's where um, that's where I uh, that's what I'm looking at. You know what? Let's go over there. Let's talk about all these cruisers. You know, these destroyers can see far enough, um, but these cruisers cannot see anything. I think I got a better idea. Let's talk about the uh, yeah. Let's talk about the destroyers since they since they probably need some uh, advanced warning. Uh, because they're not heavily armed. I mean, yeah, you need to get out of there pronto. Alright, let's get ourselves... Let's get our... Uh, oh, hello. Hello, guy over here. Uh, no, let's get our... Um, uh, torpedo bombers out. Yeah, keep going. Watching the torpedoes for some reason. Not quite sure why. The enemy team has taken the lead. Ooh, I got an idea. I has an idea. Or right, let's get that loner. Let's, yeah, let's get that. Let's own that loner guy. He, he thinks he's he thinks he's safe all by himself. Well, my torpedo bombers say otherwise. Okay, let's just spot other guys in the back. Uh, cruiser can record the shores. My P bombers don't ho hurry themselves up. Come on, it's a battleship we need to worry about, though. Can't wait to the American battleships. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do. I'm not going to go down any other nation for right now. I'm going to just go down America. The enemy team has taken the lead for right now. Anyway, I might go down the Japanese later if I really get if I really grind it out of American tree. But so far, this game is so much fun. I don't think I can get grinded out. Like I could, like I did when I was flying uh, the German tree and Wolf thanks. Uh, the German heavy tree. Uh, the they suck so much. The uh, the DW and its friend. Uh. All right. Well, let's. Okay, let's say hello to our friends. Can you shift? Okay, torpedoes away. It's weapons. Oh, he's doing a bit of maneuvers, eh? But one's gonna nab him. At least one's gonna nab him. 
Oh, by the way, you can change how your torpedoes, uh, how you can tear your torpedoes arc from your torpedo planes, which I forgot how you do that. Right, now that I think, now that I remember, now that I think, like, come on, get hit, get hit, get hit. You're not going to get hit! You freaking hell. You hacker, I swear. Ah, oh, I dodged you in time, I swear. Okay. Yeah, I swear. Okay, yeah, let's keep spotting guys on A. Because that cruiser has them spotted on B. You know what? Carry move it. Move up a little bit. Get a little closer to the front. There's a battleship I wanted to find. Let's have a shift view. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to add XP bonuses for your recon craft. Because right now, I don't think they actually get spotting bonuses. Which makes the carriers not get a lot of experience. I want to keep these guys spotted. Ooh, oh no. There's some cruisers on that side. And that cruiser took out our destroyer. I know. We, okay, we have a cruiser over there now. Good, good. Our speed bombers are coming back. Oh, they just, they just teleport those hackers. Yeah, the planes in this game, they kind of hack, don't they? Because they just, they fly, and then they drop the bombs without going low and actually having to, uh, and actually having to drop the torpedoes until they just drop it from where they're at. Which makes sense, because this is A, a beta, and B, that would be hard to do. Uh, that, that would take a lot of computing power to make your planes actually kind of realistic. And then they have to get loads of water and then drop them and then come back up every single time. Also, they could run into mountains and like that. That'd be kind of bad. Okay. Yes, okay. Oh, no, on that. Okay. Uh, the people bombers are now ready. Yeah, after. Oh, there you go. You hold it down. Got it. There we go. Okay, two. I'm just using the num. I'm just using the number keys. The ones right above the keyboard, why are you warned? Oh wait, that's a cruiser, right? Uh, cruisers can shoot at... Cruisers can shoot at... Our uh, recon planes. Oh, uh, recon fighter planes, in this case. That would be a destroyer, and that would be bad. Okay. Can you three go over here first? Go over there and then go back around. Mm, I don't like this. I think B is all clean. I think B is all clean. Oh, let's head over there and toss this guy even better. Let's get a map view. How did the, how did I do that earlier? i I was moving the vehicle earlier. Oh shift, uh right, no not shift. Our team has taken the lead. What? Torpedo What the ow Oh no! I've been made out! We've been made out, men and women. We've been made out, no. Uh, torpedo bombers, get your job done! Destroy that jerk! I can't spot me anything because of a carrier! Oh snap! That's good! What the heck? Where? Let me. Yeah. And bombers, do you please kill them? No! They missed! We've been made out though, ah. Uh. Yeah, I thought the torpedo warning for I honestly for a second I thought the torpedo warning warning was not for me, it was for one of my planes, but I guess not. Wait, can I still I can't command my planes anymore. And they got nowhere else to go. That's not good. We did get that jerk. Uh now I gotta really learn how to how to I really need to learn how to now uh, how to uh turn my torpedoes around. Oh uh, well. Yeah. 
I did my best. I did my best, but it was not good enough. Also, me not knowing how to control the torpedoes does not help. I mean, I did it earlier. I I was either pressing C or holding the left mouse button or doing both. I don't remember. Uh, but I shall figure it out eventually. Don't worry. I'll be an, I'll be an expert at care soon enough. Because I will be playing this thing off camera, mind you. All right. We got drawn the phoenix. Sweet. That's better than a loss. Oh, by the way, whenever you um, whenever you win a game, as a certain amount of time that pops up and you can read it and you can and then it goes away. Uh, so yeah. Well, Langley, I like the carriers. The carriers are fun. All right. Actually, might as well. Oh, by the way, that was time like seconds ago. All right, you need. Uh, that's for AA guns, so I never really have a. I never really have problems with aircraft all that much. I'll take. Hmm. I don't know. It's the Phoenix, right? It's the Phoenix, not. It's a cruiser, not a destroyer. I'll take. I'll take this, I suppose. Yes. Alright. Well, um. And let's see how that, well, that does, because how I play, I do get damaged a lot. So it would be nice to be able to get the repair tool out faster or lessen the repair time, whatever the case may be. Uh, it would be nice to have it, it would be nice to do it quickly. Alright, but anyway, so yeah, thank, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you guys guys watching on this video. It means a lot to me. It also means a lot to me if you, to, if you were to leave a comment. If you have any suggestions for this series, uh, like what ships I should use or what ship trees I should go up even harder than I already am. Are any tips on how to play? Will warships close data in general? If I know tips, give me the comments for people that do not know the tip. And I guess, see you in a second.